thought that was good. Gaddy went out to what Kennesaw really put us in some tough spots. And, um, you know, it sort of reminded me of last year's game. Really very similar to last year's game. There was, was not a lot of flow. It was sort of a grinded out, you know, fist fight. And, uh, you know, we made a little run in the second half. We never could distance ourselves, but put three throws at the end, which, uh, you know, Mark Eddy made two and Zach made two. I thought the guys did some good things. I thought uh, Zach played well in the second half, and I thought Christian gave us a big lift. But I thought, uh, you know, they, I thought they played very well also. And obviously, Ray got on a bit of a roll, especially in the second half, and, and put us in some tough spots. Obviously, the uh, the out of bounds call uh, with the second half left and whatnot. You were thankful for the scoreboard at that point, so you can see it. Uh, we can see it. Yeah, I mean, I know the right. You know, you yeah. can see those things and it helps us because you know it helps you with the situation. But you still don't know what they're going to call. I mean, they get different angles from the TV camera sometimes. So, uh, Mark, honestly, did you hear that one guy get kind of the one Kennis State fan, or finally block him out? It or? happens. It happens. Um, I think that's right. I'm sorry. I got to work on focusing. Just not the free throw. I think it was more me. It wasn't him. I wasn't hitting my free throws like I usually do. So. And, and what was the, what what got you through at the end there? Were you just able to zero in? Um, I just stuck in with on my routine, make sure my elbow was in, holding my follow through up, and just trust the process. How did you like the way the last minute and a half or so played out? I thought the, the good thing is we got a couple stops, and the, 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 yeah. the thing we, we didn't do is we didn't rebound and get loose balls at sometimes. And I thought. We had a bad bounce, and Mark made an unbelievable play on that loose ball, and we, you know, they ended up yep. getting it because that was an unbelievable play. But uh, we had a couple. Ray made a great play on the loose ball. Uh, but I, I thought the, the guys did a nice job not turning over and stepping to the free throw line, making shots. I'm sure you were probably keeping up today, or perhaps you weren't. But you know what happened today, as far as uh, Jacksonville. And we do it afterwards. And the door and right. Obviously, you didn't. Yeah, I'm hearing it. But you know, what are your thoughts on the way things stand at this point, Joe? Just the big things. Just worry about getting ready. You know, practice tomorrow and trying to get ready for Thursday and I you know, all these other people have to worry about themselves. So we've got enough problems, so we'll just worry about us. Some clutch stuff, though, at the end. Mark, you talked to that, or Christian, you talked about no, that. I, you guys do what you had to at the end. Yeah, um, I think we've been in a lot of closed game situations all year, and this is one of the few situations where we end up on working in our possession. Um, we had enough practice in it, and we working it in practice, and so it's, we just played out there. So. Coach, how about Antravius in the second half? What a big lift he was for you. I mean, a combination of him and Mark. I mean, how big was Antravius in that second half for you? Well, I thought Trey really said that, you know, he did a really good job. Of, and what people don't realize, what people do realize, but even if he's not catching the voice, he's occupying people. Because they were so conscientious that it opened up some driving lanes. And I think he did, he, we, we think he did a nice job setting some screens. And uh, he was a presence down there, and even the one he missed was right there. I mean, he, he really had a, especially in the second half, really gave us a great lift. And speaking of Trey, Mark, uh, the assist to you that made yeah. it 64 to 59, that was a hell of a pass. Yeah, that was. He actually do it all the time in practice, so, like, I wasn't surprised that I cut hard and trust that he was going to make the right play. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, take us back to your last defensive possession. Kendrick Ray got a free to look for three, and, and it was obvious that you, you opted not to foul. Can you just give us your thoughts on that? Well, it was over. At that point, it was over five seconds and you know this is a weird deal we read a statistical deal from a harvard study that says don't foul so over five oh it was it was over five seconds but they say in no situation statistically you have a better chance of winning if you don't foul okay. and i didn't i didn't get admitted to harvard so i'm gonna take their their word for it <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm say, some of the guys in this room i know didn't get admitted to harvard either so, <laughs> no, no. so when they do a style i'll take their stats if it was under five, you could have. And then with, with our guys, the way we rebound the block, probably wouldn't. I you know, trust our defense. We're, we're going to trust our defense. Christian, were you guys pretty cog, you know, just, just recognizing all through today that, man, we can't let this one get away because every time, you, you know, they make a you make a run, they get you back up to you. I mean, was there, was there a lot of pressure on this game? A lot of... Um, I think there's pressure on every game, really. I think yeah. all games are important to us right now, and especially when we're in the thick of the race to, to be in first. I don't know if that's possible in those scenarios or anything, but all games are important. Proceeding, and um, we just want to uh, come out of the game the uh, same way. <coughs> they were pretty pesky as well, uh, just like the, the last game, right? Yeah, we definitely knew they weren't going to go away. They were going to be with, uh, be in the game the whole time, like they were last game, last time we played them. And um, we just wanted to make plays towards the end and rely on our defense. Joe Stetson, Stetson coming up on yeah. Thursday. You know they've been in so many close games. Mm -hmm. and, you know, the young guys have gotten better. I, you know, I think they've they had a chance to should have had a three at the buzzer from what I heard tonight to tie it and you know, they'll be ready to play. I think the big thing for us is to get a couple days prepared and hopefully get our uh, legs back and, and uh, get some stuff ready for Stetson. A lot of big things to play for Thursday, Mark, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir.
<laughs> How important is it that you win that game on Thursday? Well, I think it's uh, every game is a must win, like Christian said earlier. So we just need to go out there and do what we do and just listen to what Coach say. What do you think about the matchup with Stetson specifically? What, what are your concerns with them? Um, they're, they're young guys. Are, they're, getting, they're gaining confidence every game. And um, they're playing well as a team right now. And um, we know they can beat us if, if we don't come ready to play. And uh, we're just going to focus in this week and um, be, ready, be ready to practice tomorrow and uh, just focus in on what the game plan is. Joe, has Ray still been a little bit tender or something? You're not using, you didn't use him as much until later when you... Later in the game. Well, it was more so, you know, especially the second half. You know, Meach, you know, Meach stiffened up, and then the other thing is Trey played so well. Trey actually ended up stealing some of his minutes today. And then we played Reggie and Zach. I thought Reggie gave us a good start to the half because we played a little bit quicker. We played Reggie and Zach together, and they stole some of his. You know, Trey probably stole, you know, he looked straight. Trey played 25. Those are probably 10 of Ray's minutes. I think we'll see a lot of energy out of you guys on Thursday. I think so. I think we'll have a lot of energy on Thursday. Worth the drive. Yes,